Hello, welcome back to I Plan to Create. Debbie here, and today, this video, I'm just going to be working on a little outfit for my grandson and a few other things. And I thought that I would record myself. This is something I'm not really um, used to. I don't like to put myself on camera. Um, I did before, and um, the comments and the commentary wasn't really nice or pretty, so to stay away from the um, hateful things that people said I would I would just record what I was doing instead of myself but I thought I would put myself out there and say hello my name is Debbie and I'm a crafter and I love to craft and I love to make videos and to show what I'm doing and I also like to teach what I've learned and so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm gonna stop talking here and just let you watch what I have created and I will catch you at the end of the video.
here's what I've been working on. Hi. <laughs> These are some, I think they're called harem, harem pants. I got them off of Etsy um, from a shop. I'll tell you right now. The shop name is, but it's from the same place where um, Bingham Bliss told us to get the, the pattern for the, 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 the romper. So I made these as well for my grandson. These are 18 to 24 months. I washed it, it smells so good with the baby soap. But um, it fits him a little long. And from my understanding, she makes her, her little, um, the, what do you call this? The part that goes around the ankle, a little tighter. So this one is a little looser, so it was falling over his feet. So we would have to um, like roll it up until it fits him properly but they look really cute on him and I love it and I'm making him to go with this with these pants I'm making him a shirt with some applique on it the Mickey Mouse and I'm gonna use the same um, fabric that I used on these I have it set up I'm ready to go it's just an uh, outline of Mickey Mouse I thought that would look cute with these and yeah so that's what I've been up to. I also made these. So I've been on a sewing kick. These are for him as well, my grandson. And these are for my niece. Um, they are the same age, so they were born the same month. Well, she was born a little ahead of him, a few weeks before him. But they they're the same size, so I made them both those and then i'm gonna finish up this shirt and yeah and i'm also making her some harem pants which i have them here ready to get them surged but these pants like i said i got them from the same place where i got the romper which is um I'll tell you right now let me open up my etsy so i can remember the lady's name the shop's name i should say um i have it right here and she has so many um, patterns. I just want to buy them all. Made by me patterns is where I got them from. And this is what they look like. I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. But that's what they look like. That's the um, pattern I got. They were just um, $4.44. So now I'm going to finish up this application. I wanted to show you guys this cute little on the hoop little design that I got from Parker on the porch. It's a little avocado pouch. It has a little zipper here in the back. It's so cute. This took forever to make. It's so many steps to making this. You have to hoop twice. You have to um, take things down and uh, it was so many steps but it the, the outcome is so cute it just has hardware this is not my first on the hoop design i did um i don't have them because i gave them to my my grandson and my niece but i i also got from park on the porch which was the little bunnies i actually have a picture of them here i don't know if you can see that again those from park on the porch so that was my first on the hoop um, design that I made and I love those. I'm going to make a couple of more. The only thing is since I only have a 5x7, I'm subjected to just this little size. So I can't wait to um, upgrade to a bigger machine and I can make the bigger sizes because they're so cute. The, the bigger sizes of the bunnies are so adorable. But anyway, but this is so cute, isn't it? Look at that cute little face but anyway I'm just gonna keep working here I'm gonna make my applique
of the Mickey. I'm just gonna lay down the applique piece, the fabric down. Put you back over here. Okay. And I wanna make sure that I get a, a little bit of each color and if that noise in the background is bothering you, that's my AC, it's really hot in my apartment, so I gotta keep it on. So I apologize for the noise. So let's just see, I wanna make sure that I have the orange, the black, a little bit of the gray and the camel color, like the cream color here on the shirt, around the, ouch, around the Mickey face. So I think I got it there. And then just a press start. the shirt is like in the way and I don't know it's uncomfortable okay this the shirt is floating and it's a small shirt so I'm not gonna complain though because I love my machine and I love making things for my grandson and my kids my niece I have one of these coming on the way. I'm gonna make her a few things as well. Let's see. That's how it looks so far. I don't know if you can see that. Just the little Mickey. I'm gonna put it back on the machine. So you can do the satin stitch. And that's it. It's all to It's gonna be really cute. Simple but cute. See, make sure that I didn't leave anything behind. I'll press the foot down. soaked it in water and I messed it up. I don't know if it was because I soaked, soaked it. I left it in the water for too long maybe. But if anybody knows how to clean these, I need some help because this is nasty. But what can you do? All right, so now we're gonna cut this. Okay. Got some scissors. Oh, he's gonna look so cute in this little outfit. Let's see. I'm gonna 
croissant. Tender touch. This shirt is uh, 18 to 24 months. And these shirts, I found them at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. When I was up in Albany, at, um, went over there for a few days. We always go up that, that way. I like to go up that way because all the craft stores are there. And just a way to get out of the city. And we stay in a place where there's a Hobby Lobby, there's a Joann's, there's a Michael's, there's a Walmart. Where I live, I don't have any of those things. <laughs> I had a Michael's and they took it away. They closed it down a few weeks ago. Not even a few, a few months ago. Oh, so cute. Look at this. The lighting is so bad in here, but oh my God, it's so cute. I need my my lip brush this shirt picks up a lot of lip but it's really um thick the material of the shirt so it's great for applique and it's by creations of grace it was three dollars and 49 cents i think they were on sale when i got them i got a whole bunch of them I got them in black and white in these little sizes but Oh, the lint, it picks up. It's crazy. See, this lint roller is everything. I got it at Walmart. And I was getting those little ones from the Dollar Tree. Those really don't pick up anything. But now I'm going to heat press it and put the outfit together to see how it looks. guys for watching this video i really enjoyed making all these little cute outfits for my grandson and my niece and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you soon in the next one thanks guys